Hey guys, this is Stone. I hope you're having a good morning this morning. I pray that you're having a good morning this morning, and that isn't a platitude. I said that prayer right before I started this video. So we're going to talk today about how to get unstuck, whether it's a major goal or whether it is just the everyday task you can't get done and everything in between. I'm going to show you how to get unstuck. Go to stonejordan.info and download the blueprint for best results. And also go ahead and subscribe if you want to receive these videos every Monday morning in your inbox to start your week off right. See you in the video. So my wife and I just recently moved into a new home and whenever we got ready to buy it, we talked to a lender and they started reassuring us how easy the home buying process was. Okay, now you can probably already see that there's probably some incongruency there. And whenever I talked to the lender, I asked her, I said, but now I understand that, you know, it can be kind of a war to get the home purchased. And it had been 10 years since my wife and I had purchased a home. So is it really going to be that easy? And she reassured me that it really wasn't that big of a deal. There were just a few steps and we'd be in the new home. So I was a little skeptical of that, but at the same time, I just kind of wanted to believe that it was all going to be easy. So we get the process rolling. You know, I'm a good steward of all my information. I get her all my stuff and she says, okay, great. You've done a great job. You've got me everything. Can't wait to get you in this new home. And so we were really excited. Well, then she messages me. And she said, hey, look, this is about a week later. She said, hey, I forgot I need to get a print off back. I can't remember how far back it was from our banking accounts. And it was further back than you could get online. So I'm like, OK, well, that's another thing I have to do. But she said, you get us this. Hey, we're going to get you in this house, man. So I get all this information together. I attach it in a file, send it to her. I feel good about getting it taken care of. It was just one more thing I had to do. And afterwards I got online and started looking at pictures of the house again. Okay, I was really excited to get in the house. So a little bit more time passes by and she says to me, okay, uh, by the way, I also need this. Uh, on your account, we're not sure where some of this income is coming from. It's not readily apparent by what we have here. So we're going to need to get this information. So then I have to go track down more information and I think, man, I don't really want to have to do this. This is just another thing on my to-do list, which is already very busy, but I got to get it done. And after this is done, we're going to get in this house. So I get the information, send it to her in her attachment, get it done. Thankful I've got it done, ready to move into the house, look at the pictures again, and I'm excited. Well, as you can imagine, this happens over and over and over again. But every time the lender reminded me that this is just another step that we have to do to get you moved into the house. Okay, Lao Tzu is quoted as saying that the journey of a thousand miles begins with one step. And really that is the key to getting unstuck, whether it's a major goal or it's just an everyday task that you don't want to do, something that you've been putting off. And really it applies in both of those scenarios and this applies for everything else in between. What I'm going to talk to you about is the acronym STEPS. And I'm going to copyright this right now because I've never heard this anywhere else. But what this is, I have taken the information of wiser men over the years through books, seminars, audio, and I have come up with this acronym and it will truly get you unstuck and moving forward in anything by the power of STEPS. And it's an acronym. It's five things that you do, S-T-E-P-S. -E so let's get started. Number one is S. Now S is simplest task. Now simplest task simply means that you look at whatever it is, that goal, that, that big goal you're trying to accomplish or that action you're trying to accomplish and you say to yourself, what can I do that takes the least mental horsepower to get done? What can I do that's going to take the least amount of energy to get done? Now, there's a psychological reason why you do this, right? Because if it's a major goal, it can seem daunting. And if it's the task you're just not doing, if you're stuck, there's a reason why you're stuck, right? There's too much pain to move forward. So what this does is it allows you to see this is just a tiny thing, right? It's very simple. It's not difficult. 
what is that thing that you can do and define it clearly what that simplest task is. Then T is simply take action. That's a no-brainer, right? You decide what the simplest task is and then you take action on that task. E is to evaluate your progress. Now, if you're taking a very small action, you really need to look at where you are and you need to look at where you want to go. And there's a gap there, right? Did completing this simple task move the needle towards accomplishing your ultimate goal or that action? That's really the litmus test of the steps plan. Did it move you forward? If it did, you move on to step four, which is P, which is praise yourself. Now, high achievers, um, a lot of people really skip this step. It's highly important because you need a reason to move forward. There apparently have been enough reasons to keep you stuck, so you need more reasons to get you to continue to want to go forward, and you need to praise yourself, right? You've moved the needle, and you're moving in the direction of that ultimate outcome or that goal, so you need to praise yourself. And then the final step is S, and this is the most important step, because you can take one tiny action to move toward your goal, and then get in the same habit routine, and not go back to it, and then procrastinate, and not get it done, and that goal is futile. Step five, S, is schedule your next step. Lince, rinse, lather, repeat, right? You keep going through the process. Now, S, schedule your next step, does not mean you define what the next step is, what the next simple step is. You just schedule that, hey, tomorrow, I am going to work towards this outcome or I'm gonna to work towards this goal, okay? You're just saying, I'm gonna to work towards it. Then whenever you get tomorrow, when that action comes up, you start at the beginning again. You simplify or take the simplest step and you go through the process over and over and over again. You know, my real estate agent was actually very smart, or the lender, excuse me, was actually very smart because while I wouldn't suggest you do that, it kept me moving forward, and I didn't think about how long the war was going to be or the process was going to be to get us in the home. And as she took me step by step, I saw that wasn't that big of a deal, that wasn't that big of a deal, that wasn't that big of a deal until we're in our new home. And I'm actually on the deck of our new home now, and we love it. Any goal that you want to accomplish can be accomplished by taking the steps process. I really hope this helped you. Please leave a comment below and let me know what steps you take in order to get unstuck. And remember, this week is a gift, my friend. So be purposeful and productive with it. Thank you so much. We'll talk to you next time.